We believe that this is the first use of um, whole genome sequencing to actually intervene and bring an outbreak to a close. MRSA is a bacterium that lives uh, on the skin and the nose of, um, of people uh, and animals. Um, it's a very common bacterium and it very rarely causes disease um, and a lot of people carry it. Hospitals have done an extremely good job at reducing incidence of MRSA disease. Um, if you look at the graphs there's been a dramatic fall over the last few years um, and they've achieved that predominantly by um, improvements in hand washing, improvements in infection control, by breaking the chain of transmission within, uh, within hospitals. When infection control teams investigate a possible MRSA outbreak, they're particularly interested in looking at whether people who are MRSA positive could have had the opportunity to come into contact with each other because they're on the same ward or unit at the same time. With this study, we were trying to expand on our previous work, which has shown that we can um, track with much higher resolution MRSA in hospitals. Um, we have shown that uh, whole genome sequencing, which is what we're doing here, gives much, much finer resolution than previous typing techniques. In our study, we used whole genome sequencing to investigate a suspected MRSA outbreak on a special care baby unit. It hadn't been possible previously to definitely say that an outbreak had occurred, but using whole genome sequencing to test the MRSA bacteria that are associated with this possible outbreak, we did confirm that an outbreak had definitely taken place. Whole genome sequencing was also used to demonstrate that the outbreak was around twice as big as we'd previously suspected. So while we were doing the study, something very interesting happened. The, the previous outbreak, which we thought was over, um, suddenly uh, started up again in the, in the um, special care baby unit. Um, so we were, again, able to very, very rapidly, within um, 48 hours, take the strain and show that it was part of the previous outbreak. And this was very surprising because there was a large gap in the apparent transmission on the ward. The length of time between the initial outbreak and the new MRSA case led us to suspect that there may be a carrier that linked the two. We therefore undertook a programme of screening of staff during which we did find one individual who was carrying an MRSA isolate. Rapid whole genome sequencing of this led us to demonstrate that this was also connected to the outbreak and so we treated that individual so that they were no longer carrying MRSA and couldn't transmit it any further. So we think that routine use of whole genome sequencing um, within hospitals will allow the hospitals to identify outbreaks much, much earlier and intervene much earlier. Um, so many of the outbreaks will never even get hold. We can intervene and break the transmission before they start. The findings of our study suggest that whole genome sequencing of MRSA is a promising new tool and could strengthen the way that infection control teams control MRSA in hospital settings. In order to roll this out now, what we require is systems for automated interpretation of sequence data to make it much easier to use. We are currently developing prototypes so that we can take this technology into clinical practice. We believe that this is the first time that uh, whole genome sequencing has been used to identify and crucially intervene in an outbreak and bring it to a close. Um, and we hope that this is the first of many in the future.